Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill, and I have been doing daily videos on my channel, so if you're new here, make sure you check out um, all the videos from this past week. Today is Friday that I'm filming this, so you'll be seeing it on Saturday, but this day I was really motivated to get the whole house clean, like every room at the same time, which hardly ever happens around here. But, um, so my stepson was coming, is coming, well, he's here now, but he was coming today for the summer. He comes every summer because they moved out of state a couple years ago. So he comes here every summer on his school break. And this time his mom was coming with her husband. And, um, so I don't know. I always like to give a really good like first impression of my house. It's embarrassing to me if somebody comes here for the first time and I have like piles of clutter somewhere or like an unfinished project sitting around or something like that. So I decided that I just wanted to get the whole house clean and in order so that I wouldn't be embarrassed if they, you know, wanted a tour or something. Um, so Anyway, that is what I'm doing in this video, and honestly, my I was so stressed out today while cleaning, and like I just kept feeling like I didn't have enough time in the day, and so I didn't film everything I did. So I'm hoping at least I filmed every room of the house, and I don't even know if I did. Like I might have missed a whole section, but. Like, I know I didn't film myself cleaning the bathrooms. Um, I don't like to film myself cleaning the bathrooms, you guys. I just have realized that, like, I don't like doing that. Because, for one thing, I wash my hands, like, a thousand times while I'm cleaning bathrooms. I'm very... I'm a germaphobe, okay? You guys probably don't know that about me. But I am a germaphobe. I am really, really freaked out by bathroom germs. Like, almost to the level of, like being considered like OCD um so when I clean bathrooms like the last thing I want is a camera on me like so I don't know I just I realize like I'm just never gonna film that but um you know I don't know I don't know why I'm blabbering on about this but yeah so all I'm saying is sorry my brain has left the building it is almost midnight and I just was like oh my gosh I didn't edit my video today so it's been a long day I literally cleaned all day and then they got here around five or six and then we had dinner and everyone just left um, his mom and her husband they're staying up in my mom's fifth wheel on my property for the weekend um so anyway they just went up there and now my husband and my stepson are playing video games it's their like tradition every time he comes into town the first night he's here they play video games till late <laughs> um so anyway yeah it's been a really long day i feel like my brain has exploded um so my voice over is going to be kind of wonky um, but yeah, here I am just putting away Costco, Costco groceries and stuff. I'm really wishing that at the end of the day when I was done with everything, I kind of wish I like walked around with the camera and just showed like every room because the house looked so good. Um, the kitchen's already a mess though because <laughs> my husband cooked dinner for us all and he made like a big dish of like jambalaya so he dirtied a lot of pots and pans and then everyone ate so there's lots of bowls and stuff but it's okay because for a short period of time today the entire house every single room of it was clean at the same time um okay i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking your guys's ears off and i'm just gonna let the music play now so enjoy and if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you're watching and you like my channel, please subscribe because I'm trying to do a lot more videos than I normally have. Right now, I'm going to try daily videos, which means there's no way I'm going to do seven days a week, but maybe five to six days a week every week. 
I'm trying to save up my YouTube money to buy a car, a used car. I would never buy a car brand new at this point in my life. But, um, yeah, I want a new car really, really bad. And so I'm saving up my YouTube money for it. And, yeah, I don't know. There's something exciting about, like, working for a goal. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm posting more often right now. But also, I'm, I've actually really enjoyed it. And it kind of holds me accountable. It's been keeping me busier um, because, you know, throughout the normal week in, like, before this, it, you know, I would have days where, like, I didn't want to do anything. Like, I'd finish homeschooling my kids, and then I'd be, like, so tired, and I would just relax for the rest of the day. But then the next day after that, I would have, like, a double cleaning load to do because I didn't do anything the day before. And then it just made the next day crappy. Um, so... Doing something, at least something, every single day has been great for my house. It's been great for my family. It's been great. I feel like it's been really good for my mental health to, like, have something to do every day and, like, create content every day. So, anyway, I am really blabbering. I am sorry, guys. I had a lot of caffeine today. Um, okay, I'm going to put the music on now. Also... I love my table when I take out the leaf and it's this cute little round table. I put the leaf in here when my sister was staying with her 13 kids and I just forgot to take the leaf back out after they left and I am glad I remembered to do it today because it's so cute when, when it's small like this. Alright, now I really mean it this time I'm putting music on. Okay, so while I'm watching this part back, I just want to mention, I absolutely hate this rug. You guys, I ordered this rug from Tumble, 
and I saw their videos on Instagram and it totally reeled me in. I got caught up in the marketing of it all. It's machine washable so you could literally just like pick up this whole rug and throw it in the washing machine. But it came with this pad underneath it that's like a bunch of rectangles that you piece together. And so I can't just like pull the rug to fix it. Because then all those individual foam pieces underneath it start separating and the rug is constantly getting all wrinkled up. Anytime someone moves the coffee table or an ottoman, like the rug just wrinkles up. It's driving me absolutely nuts. Also to the left, I know you can't see it anymore right now, but to the left, um, like right behind me, if you were to pan over to the right right now behind me, um, you can see like the whole pad, the rug doesn't even meet up with the pad anymore because it got moved too many times and it's just, it's, it's driving me bonkers and I paid so much money for it. I mean, not so much money, but like I paid, you know, it's a brand, it was a brand new rug, so it cost money and I'm just super bummed because like, I don't want to just get rid of it and buy a whole new rug. So I feel like what I should do is remove all the padding from underneath and just buy, like, one big rug pad to go underneath it. And then, um, like, get some of those, like, those things that you put underneath rugs and stick them to your floor I feel like I should put those in between the rug and the rug pad and then also put them under the rug pad onto the floor so that it like just stays in place really well. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I should have just bought a normal rug. Why did I have to go and buy a machine washable rug? Ah, it's making me a crazy person. Anyway, so what you guys were just watching was me decluttering the cabinets under my TV, which I'm ordering a countertop for. I found the countertop I want to get, but it was out of stock um, at the time. And what sucks is I'm going to have to get two countertops and mesh them together because it's just way too expensive to get one that fits the whole entire length of it. So I'm going to get two. They're like for an island, but anyway, it's going to look really pretty. And I think I already have the paint. Um, so I just, I can't wait to work on that, that project around the TV. But now I'm decluttering these baskets and this counter. Um, I hate when this counter gets all cluttered up because we can see it from the living room. And I feel like when people walk in the front door, they can see it. And it's just an eyesore. Um, so anyway. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I will 
will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So I realize you guys might be wondering what's going on here. I had liquefied zucchini in my one of my produce drawers. So it was completely liquefied. We had to throw out some carrots and celery that were sharing the drawer with it. It sucks, but um, it happens sometimes. <laughs> I try not to let it happen very often, but it does happen sometimes. It was disgusting. And then it ended up spilling on me when I was cleaning it and it got all over my clothes and my feet and the, ugh, it was just, it was nasty, you guys. Um, yeah, it was really, really nasty. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts. So it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Alright guys, this is the last thing I ended up filming before everyone got here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and sorry it wasn't longer, I'm going to try to get you guys longer videos on the weekends, but it's all what I can handle that day, <laughs> um, and this was all I could handle this day. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you subscribe, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you're motivated, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.